In this video, we talk about the boy or girl paradox. This refers to a set of famous problems in probability theory. And the reason it is called a paradox is because uh, the answers are sometimes counterintuitive. And we will talk about that in this video. So here is the scenario that we consider. We consider a family with two children. And we are interested in the children's gender. So what are the possibilities? So let's say the first child, the second child, the first child might be a girl and the second child might be a girl also or the first child might be a girl the second child is a boy or we might have a boy girl scenario or a boy boy scenario and in these problems we assume that each child is either a girl or boy with probability 50 percent and independent of the other child so for example the probability of girl girl is probability of girl times probability of girl which is one half times one half is one over four. The probability of girl boy is also one over four. The probability of boy girl is also one over four. And the probability of boy boy is one over four. So basically, our sample space, the set of all possible outcomes, is this girl girl, girl boy, boy girl, and boy boy. And we assume that all possible outcomes are equally likely. So the probability of each of them is one over four. And we are interested in the probability that both children are girls, given that we have some extra information. So basically, if I want to summarize our model here, is that it looks like it looks as if each family tosses two coins, and the results of each coin toss determines the gender of each child. Okay, so let's look at the first problem. Problem one. What is the probability that both children are girls, given that the first child is a girl? So I suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of this video. So let's look at the solution. So here we have an event A. We are interested in the probability that A occurs, where A is the event that both children are girls. We are interested in the probability of A given B, where B is equal to the event that the first child is a girl. Well, if the first child is a girl, there are two possibilities. Either we have a girl girl scenario or we have a girl boy scenario so we are interested in probability of a given b the general formula for a probability of a given b is the probability of a and b divided by probability of b now what is a and b here well the only element that is common in both is gg here so girl girl so basically this is equal to a a intersection with B is the same as A. So probability of A and B, or sorry, probability of A given B is equal to probability of A divided by probability of B. So what is probability of A? Probability of girl girl is 1 over 4. What is probability of B? B has two elements. Probability of B is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4, which is 1 over 2. So this probability is 1 over 2. So that is the answer to this question. Now, another way to look at this problem is to look at as uh, to look at uh, probabilities as percentages. So basically, we can assume that we have a large set of families. Let's say we have four million families with two children, and from these four million families with two children, approximately one million of them have two girls. Approximately 1 million of them have girl, boy. Approximately 1 million of them have boy, girl. And 1 million have boy, boy. Okay? So the question is this. We pick a family at random and we notice that the first child is a girl. So basically, we know that we are here. Right? The first child is a girl. So it looks like we are picking a family at random from this set and we ask what is the probability that the family has two girls. Well, in this set, there are one million families with two girls. So the probability that both children are girls are one million divided by the total number of families in this category, which is, you know, we have two million families here over 2 million so it's 1 over 2 so that's the same answer that we obtained above so let's look at the next problem 
the next problem is this again we have a family with two children now we ask the father do you have at least one daughter and he responds yes and the question is given this extra information what is the probability that both children are girls in other words if i want to summarize the problem the problem is what is the probability that both children are girls given that we know at least one of them is a girl so again i suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of the video okay so let's look at the solution here again we are interested in the probability of an event a where event a is the event that both children are girls now we are interested in the probability of a given c where the event c is the event that at least one of the children is a girl so the event c is what well it might be the first child that is a girl the second child that is a girl or both of them might be girls so so that's the event c and the question is what is probability of a given c again we can write probability of a given c is probability of a and c divided by probability of c so what is a and c well again the only element that is common is uh, girl girl here so a and c is the same as a so probability of a divided by probability of c probability of a is 1 over 4 and probability of c there are three elements here so it's 3 over 4 and it's 1 over 3 so that is the answer to this question so in fact this is a different problem than the first one in the first one the answer was 1 over 2 and the question was what's the probability that both children are girls given that we know the first child is a girl here we are asking what is the probability that both children are girls given that we know at least one of them is a girl now to better understand the difference of these two problems it might be a good idea to look at our diagram of percentages again suppose that we have four million families and approximately one million one million of them have two girls one million girl boy one million boy girl and one million boy boy in this problem we pick a family at random from this set the set that has at least one girl and the question is what's the probability that both children are girls so we're asking what's the probability that both children are girls this is in fact the set that represents the event a both children are girl and the total families in this box are representing the set c the event c as we see there are three categories three million families in the event c and one million of them have two girls so the probability is 1 million over 3 million which is 1 over 3 okay so let's look at the next problem problem 3 again we pick a family with two children and then here we ask the father do you have at least one daughter who is born on a Monday and he replies yes and the question is given this extra information what is the probability that both children are girls so in other words the question is what is the probability that both children are girls given that we know at least one of them is a girl born on a monday so that is our criteria here and the question is what's the probability that both children are girls given that we already know the family has at least one of these kind of girls one of the monday girls so again i suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of the video so let's look at the solution we are interested in probability of a given d where a is the event that we are interested in the event that both children are girls and the event d is the event that at least one of the children is a girl born on a monday okay so how do we solve this problem we can use the conditional probability formula as before we can write this probability of a given d is probability of a and d divided by probability of d and in fact one way to do this is to use the base rule we can use this as probability of d given a times probability of a divided by probability of d and then i suggest that you uh, solve this problem using this method uh, and in fact this is the method that is used in the text the online text 
however, here I would like to solve this problem using our uh, basically percentage diagram, the tree diagram. So let's look at our diagram again. We had 4 million families, and again, 1 million with 2 girls, 1 million girl boy, 1 million with boy girl, and 1 million boy boy. And now what happens is that out of this 1 million, some of them have at least one girl born on a Monday. Out of one this category, again, some of them have at least one girl born on a Monday and so on. And the question is how many of those? Well, let's look at here. If a family has only one girl, what's the probability that they have a girl that is born on a Monday? Well, there's only one girl, the probability that that girl is born on a Monday is 1 over 7 because there are 7 days in the week and we assume that days are equally likely. So, 1 million over 7 of them, of these families, have at least one girl that is born on a Monday. Similarly, from this category, again, they have one girl, the probability that that girl born on a Monday is 1, mil, 1 over 7. So, the total number of families in the second category, we assume, is around 1 million over 7. How about here? Well, what is the probability that a family with two girls have a, uh, at least one of them, one of the girls born on a Monday? Well, what's the probability that none of them is born on a Monday? The probability that none of the girls is born on a Monday uh, is 6 over 7 times 6 over 7. The probability that the first one is not born on a Monday times the probability that the second one is not born on a Monday and the probability that they have at least one of the children born on a Monday, one of the girls born on a Monday, is 1 minus that. So it's 1 minus 36 over 49, which is 30, 13 over 49. So that's the probability. So we have 1 million families. So approximately 13 over 49 million of them uh, have at least one girl who is born on a Monday. Okay. So now we are back in business because we have we are picking a family at random from the families in the box and the question is what's the probability that uh, they have two girls well here the number of families with two girls is 13 over 49 and the total number of families is 13 over 49 yes, million plus 1 million over 7 plus 1 million over 7 so it's 13 over 49 divided by 13 over 49 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 over 7 which is around 48 percent so again we see that the answer is different here uh, in the previous problem we obtained 1 over 3 and here we the answer is closer to 1 half and the point here is that, you know, in both problems, we have three categories of families. And like in, this, in the previous problem, we have three categories and pick one of them at random. So the probability was one over three. Here, we also have three categories. But the issue is that these categories are not equally likely. In other words, if a family has two girls, it is more likely that at least one of the girls is born on a Monday that compared to a family that has only one girl. So this category, you know, has higher probabilities. That's why the probability of having two girls in this problem is higher than the previous case. Okay, so let's look at the last one. Again, we have a family with two children. Now we do this experiment. We pick one of the children at random and find out that she's a girl. And the question is, what's the probability that both children are girls? Again, I suggest that you solve this problem before watching the rest of the video. Okay, so let's look at the solution. Well, you can solve this problem using the uh, definition of conditional probability and using Bayes' rule as it is done in the textbook. Uh, but again, I prefer to use uh, my tree diagram here. So again, I assume that I have 4 million families. Now, here I do this experiment. I pick one of the children at random and observe that she's a girl or not. Now, if I have a family in this category, if I pick a child at random, then 
that child is certainly a girl. So all of these families here qualify. Basically, if I pick a family from, uh, if, if I pick a child at random from these families, it's always a girl. So we have 1 million in this category. Now, if I have a family in the second category, if I pick a child at random, with probability one half, I picked a girl, and with probability one half, I pick a boy. So only half of these families will survive my experiment. In other words, only half of these families, when I pick them and I pick a child at random, I observe a girl. So I have 0.5 million families here. Similarly here, again, if I pick a child at random, with probability 0.5, I choose a girl, and with probability 0.5, this uh, family uh, survives uh, my random experiment here. So I have 0.5 million in this category. And if a family has uh, two boys, then you know, certainly when I take a child at random, that child is going to be a boy. So basically, I have 1 million families with two girls. I have 0.5 million families with girl. The first child is a girl, the second child is a boy. And 0.5 million... Uh, families with the first child uh, a boy and the second child a girl. Now the question is, I pick one of the families at random, and the question is, what's the probability that the, the family has two two girls? Now the families in the first category have two girls. There is one million of them. The total number of families here is one million plus 0.5 million plus 0.5 million which is 1 million over 2 million, and the probability is 1 over 2. So again, as I said, you can solve this problem using the Bayes rule, uh, which is done in the text, and I suggest that you read it to get more insight to these problems. Okay, thank you.